Right, Nick Everett's on next. Make some noise for him. Make some noise for Nick Everett! Hello. Is everyone having a good time? I'll begin with some character comedy. Here I will play some amusing characters. This first character is a cowboy who can never quite remember people's names. I don't recall the name. <laughs> this next character. <laughs> is a mafia boss who builds disposable marine mammals. Okay, so that's a mafia boss who builds disposable marine mammals. I'm gonna make him an otter he can't reuse. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nick and I am a shy man. I always have been shy. I had very low self-esteem when I was a child. When I was younger, I was convinced that I was fat and ugly, and that was why I could never get a girlfriend. But now I'm older, I look back and reflect, and I realize that I was never fat. I wasn't ugly. I was creepy. Look at me, <laughs> and between you and I, I still am. <laughs> I grew up in Portsmouth, but I live in London now. I love London. I know London has a reputation for being a cold, distant, and aloof city where no one ever talks to each other. I love London. I've been in London for 10 years now. I don't know if that makes me a Londoner. I guess I'm starting to feel like a Londoner. Some people say Londoners are arrogant and rude. Those people are slack-jawed provincial cunts. <laughs> Before I go on, I have to do some admin. I have a joke towards the end of my set, which relies upon you knowing some background information. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the information now, <laughs> so that when I deliver my second to last joke in about seven minutes time, <laughs> it will be funny. <laughs> but this bit I'm doing now won't be funny because it's purely administrative. The information you need to know for my second to last joke to work is this. I don't hold my mother-in-law in very high regard. <laughs> okay, I'm not very keen on my fictitious mother-in-law. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently about what my vibe is. <laughs> it's very important as a comedian to understand how you come across to an audience. After some careful consideration, 
I believe that my vibe might be, and correct me if I'm wrong, lone wolf incel cannibal. I wish this were not the case. I wish I had a cheeky, chappy persona. But I don't, because I look like a German dentist. <laughs> Who in his spare time collects feet. I look like I know a guy who can dispose of a body. And that guy is me. I look like my hobbies and interests include taxidermy, long evenings in with mother, and the preservation of the white race. <laughs> I jest, of course. <laughs> Mother's dead. <laughs> I'm single at the moment. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you're in a relationship. Now give me a cheer if you're single. Yeah. Ah. Well, my punchline was going to be, now don't the single people sound happier? <laughs> but in actuality, it was about the same. <laughs> I struggle to meet women. It might be because I can come across a little bit intimidating when people meet me for the first time. Some people have resting bitch face, don't they? <laughs> Not me. I have this. Resting mass shooter face. I've been trying to use Tinder recently. I haven't been having a great deal of success, though. I fear my profile may be lacking something. Maybe if I read my profile to you now, you guys can offer me some feedback. So here is my profile. To whom it may concern. I am a fully qualified actuary <laughs> with a prominent brow and the eyes of a killer. <laughs> Seeks similar. <laughs> if you fit the bill, maybe we can go for some drinks. And who knows, if all goes well, perhaps you will allow me to show you my perineum. I don't want to be catfished, so if you must send nudes, please place proof of identification <laughs> and a recent utility bill. <laughs> adjacent to your genitals. <laughs> Thank you for your due consideration. And kind regards, Nick. P.S. I eat puss like it's my job. My mother-in-law is a fat slag.
Now, in the interests of variety, I'm going to finish with a joke. <laughs> and it is, in fact, a sexist joke. <laughs> doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. That joke was sexist because the doctor in question was being paid less than her male colleagues <laughs> doing the same job. I've been Nick Everett, thanks very much. Nick Everett, everybody!